Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Grim Survival here. One more time. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about today was um, a backup fishing kit because, like I said, I'm I'm not a uh, professional outdoorsman. I'm not a professional survivalist. I'm not um, a prepper. I'm not a uh, yeah, I'm not anything along those lines. I'm just, uh, I like to go fishing out in the woods. I like to spend a lot of time out in the woods. I do a little bushcraft here and there. Um, I guess you can consider some of the stuff that I have packed together as, um, prepping gear, but, um, yeah, take it how you will. Um, one thing I do like to carry with me is a backup. Uh, I like to do a lot of pike fishing, and... Um, all the gear that I use is fairly large. I use 5 out hooks and uh, half ounce weights. Um, and I use live bait. And one of the things that can happen when I'm out pike fishing is I can run out of bait. And I'm stuck with very large gear that it's hard to catch bait fish with. One thing I like to carry with me is my pen fishing rod. Um, a lot of people might laugh about these, um, but if you get the actual original pen fishing rods, they're actually extremely strong. Um, I've caught an, a three and a half pound bass on one of these with no problem at all. So let's get into that real quick. Um, this is just how I store mine, but the reel can come completely separate, but I like to leave the thing stringed as you'll see. But on these, pop the cap off of it and you have a telescoping fishing rod. So you just take that. Let me get the hook undone real quick. Sorry about that, my hook tangled up kind of funny. Extend that out. And then down here at the base, you have two clasps to attach your fishing reel, which you can attach either with on the left or right hand side. And you tighten that up. And now you have a fully functioning fishing rod. I opted to get the one with the fly reel. Um, it's more compact and you can actually hold more line on it. Um, now, see, a lot of people will put extremely light like six pound test on here. I have 30 pound braided line on mine um, and honestly this little pole can take the abuse. Um, maybe one day I'll do a review video on this um, but this is something everybody should have in their bug out bag, their fishing kit, anything. It doesn't take up very much space and it is an extremely nice piece of gear to have. You can wrap some wire on a stick and use it but Honestly, for what this thing takes up, it's very nice. It's very cheap. I think I paid $15 for this. So, there's that. And along with that, I always carry this little case. Um, this kit includes a lot of hooks, which is one thing that I've noticed that a lot of people tend to not have enough of. Is I'll see in their kits that they have one or two fishing hooks. If you ever go on fishing, you know that your hooks end up getting hung up on the bottom, um, the fish end up swallowing them, um, which in case you could cut them open and take your hook out, but it's better off to just carry a lot of different hooks. And I'll go over the sizes that I carry, but I'm just going to dump this out. Okay. Carry a small float bobber with me. Um, I also carry a bunch of steel shot. This is some uh, wood free, I think these are like 3 out or something like that. Next thing is I'll carry a Phoebe. If you catch anything, bass, trout, sunnies, anything on these. Um, and then another thing that's fairly similar to that. 
And then as for hooks, I don't know if you could see that in the video. There's quite a few different hooks there. These are size 4 trout hooks. You catch bass, trout, sunnies on these. Um, if you're targeting something that's a little bit smaller, you can go with these. I'm sorry, these are fours. And these were sixes. And I also carry these treble hooks. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on these. These are extremely small treble hooks. Um, you're, you're never going to lose a fish on that. As soon as that thing gets it in its mouth, it's hooked. So. Like I said, that's my kit um, that could be helpful in many different situations. It doesn't take up very much room in my bag. It's extremely light, and you can target pretty much any fish species in the northern part of the U.S. and most other places. Like I said, I've caught three or four pound fish off of this pen fishing rod with no issue at all. So... Um, Thank you guys again, and have a good one.